In this video, uh, we're going to look at the GD27, some tips and tricks for how to build it. Uh, the GD27 is an unusual dome because it's three frequency, but it's an exact half sphere. Uh, it has a couple of features that are different from uh, most three frequency domes that you see on the internet. It's got a flat base, so there's none of that issue with the three frequency up and down base thing. And it's a, like I say, a half a half dome rather than ha being a, a four ninths or a five ninths, either you know slightly sm slightly smaller than half or slightly bigger. Uh, I won't say how I do I've achieved that. Uh, I'll let you guess how we did that. Um, but I'll give you some tips on how how we build this one and how we put it together. The angles um, are the same as a standard three frequency, the dihedral angle, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, there are a couple of issues that you have to think about though before you um, get involved with this plan. Right, um, a standard three frequency has hexagon and pentagon panels. Uh, this one ha is, is the same because it's three frequency, but some of the panels uh, have frames that are cut in half. Now I've got a video, I'll, I'll try and link up to it if I can work out how to do it on YouTube. Um, and it, you, you can cut a, a triangle in half if you simply put a strut down the middle and then cut the strut in half and you end up with a left hand side and a right hand side to, the, to a triangle well you'll need some of those just on the base section though the base is done like that but everywhere else is normal uh, what I'll do is I'll start with the um, base and I'll show you the techniques for um, how we um, put the base together and the doors and windows and all the, all the details of how this goes together Okay, I've got uh, the plans here, and we're going to look at the base first. I'm trying to trying to get this um, so you can see it. Oh, well, there you go. Um, get my pen. Uh, this this is the um, exploded view of the base. Uh, the red line. I don't know if you can just see it in there. That's the red line. That's the that shows the base going round. And these are the bottom panels. Now you can see that that's a uh, strange looking shape and that's a bit of a strange looking shape that's a normal one what you'd expect to see so both the back and the door are normal but the what that is is let's see if I can draw this uh, like that bit rubbishy drawn but it's actually a pentagon shape but it's been cut down the center and so is that one so is that one, and so is that one. And now this one here has a hexagon, same as that, but instead of being divided here, it's actually divided here. So you end up with that shape. Now that's uh, so you, you end up to cutting a couple of um, triangles in half for that, and a couple of triangles in half for that. Um, so this is your base ring. Everything else in the dome is normal, full size, no half panels or nothing. This is just on the base. Now we'll do the base first. I'll show you some uh, ways to, to to make the base that are uh, you know a little bit easier than um, perhaps you first might have thought. Let's have a look now. Right on the plans, you'll see the the angles are shown for the base section here. Here and here. What we're going to do is we're going to make the base section, but we're going to, and then we're going to fit it to the to the uh, panel before we build the dome. It makes life a lot easier, really. So I've cut a bit a base section, two base sections, and I put an angle on them. Now the angle, I don't know if you can see that there. It says 76 degrees. We need to take that from 90, which le which leaves I believe 14 degrees. Follow me outside now. Okay, this is a finished panel, as you can see. Um, it's been, it's got the two mirror image half triangles, and it's got the base fitted. Uh, now it looks like you know we have to accurately cut the base and all that, but it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. Uh, what I do is we go back to the plan. And we look on the plan and get the angles that we need for this joint here. So this this one's 14 degrees, I think we said. 
uh, we cut one side of our 3x2 and join it. We then, yeah, let's have a look over here. That's like that. So we haven't cut this accurately at all. It's just a little bit longer than we need. And I've cut this here accurately and screwed it together. Then what we do is we put the panel on top and screw it down. And you'll notice that the ends stick out past like that. So you've got like a couple of inches either side sticking out. All you do is you cut that off with the saw by hand and you end up with a perfect fitting base like that. So the base is fitted to each panel before you go out and build it on site. So that way your panels, it's all ready to go in, you can start building straight away. That's a much easier way of building the uh, base. The base is fixed onto the, each one of these before we build the dome. It is, some people have tried to build this whole circle first and then mount, the, mount all these panels on top, but it's, it's absolutely a nightmare because if you don't get these angles and lengths exactly right, then it'll either overhang or it'll underhang the base. I mean, you can put a big thick base on to make sure it catches it, but this is a much neater, simpler way of doing it. There's no uh, measuring. All you have to do is cut on one end this angle and then chop that off straight when you're finished. Uh, and then from there, your, your, your panels, you can just build it on site as normal. We'll have a look at the doors. Uh, now, one or two people who've, who've bought the plans and sent pictures haven't done the doors, because I guess it looks complicated, um, because there's angles and changes to a triangle. Uh, actually, the doors are quite simple. Um, I'll show you how we do the doors. Uh, this is a standard hexagon panel, frame I should say. Um, when you make your, your dome, I always make a few spare ones, um, because sometimes you can get up, you can break one or so I usually make four extra. Uh, so you'll need to take some of these to make your door panels. Now, uh, uh, the door sides look like complicated angular cut things, but they're actually a standard hexagon panel. Now this is an isosceles triangle, so both these sides are the same and the base is slightly shorter. So what we do to make a door is, we, uh, let me just get my pen, I'll get away so you can see what I'm doing. Right. What you do is, that's our isosceles, so these sides are the same. You measure down halfway, put a mark, and all you do is you put a noggin from here down to this corner, and uh, that there becomes a door frame. Now you think you would think that that looks very similar, split in half, but obviously that's a short one and that's a long one, so you have to make you waste it. A bit. You can't actually make it out because I'll show you after. Uh, so all you're doing is measuring down halfway and then see if I've got a bit of and putting a strut across there like that. Now the, the angle on this is slightly different. It'll show you on the plan so it's a slightly different angle on it but other than that if that's all you do then you just cut this off um, and that gives you one door frame. I'll make one now and show you finished one. Okay, there you go. I've made one. Um, just going closer. That's uh, fixed here and it's fixed the screw up there and it's still fa fastened to the original hexagon frame. Now the, that bit there and that bit there look very similar but they're not the same. Uh, you want, if that's our isosceles triangle, left and right sides are the same, and the base is uh, slightly shorter, you want to keep this bottom triangle here for one of the doors. That bit there is no good. Um, now you need a mirror image for the uh, top and bottom of the door, because the mirror images. But all you have to do there is, I'll show you this one. Uh, I've made one before there. 
is to go from the left mark down from the left side and move across to here. So that's that's a left-handed one there. And that's a right-handed one. Now for, for the door, you'll need um, four of those. Two left hand and two right hand. I'll make them up now and show you where they go. Okay, I've done that now. That's what we end up with. Uh, we uh, join them at the short, the short side there. So we end up with uh, a left and a right joined together at the short side and another left and a right. These are the um, door side panels which I made earlier. They're fairly straightforward. Okay, so we've done the um, door and the base of the GD27. Now we'll look at the windows. Uh, to make the windows, we again start with a standard frame. That's a standard frame. I make maybe four or six of these extra each time I build a dome. Um, and what we're looking at is making a window. Uh, I've got a frame here. This is a finished, finished half hexagon frame. We put uh, three triangles together and then we cover the, cover the whole lot, the whole sheet with uh, polythene. Uh, this is a standard hex frame, so you can see that it's exactly the same size. Okay, uh, I've made a window now. What I've done is taken a triangle and I've put this beam, you probably see better from this side, a piece of wood across here to put the latch on and a piece of wood down here just for straight the whole lot of polythene is taken off from the back side rather than the edge. And then I'll also put a couple of hinges. I'll show you now how to uh, So if you look at any any of the domes that you build, you're looking for a horizontal uh, bar to fix the window, a little bit of flashing. Uh, right. What we'll do now is we take this out like this. And staple this back to here. So we've got to retension our so I don't have to go too mad with the tightening. And we'll do the top as well. I know it's only wrapped around but it helps to seal the window for water and keep the frame dry. Now we have a hole for the window and all we have to do is fit the window into the hole.
line up the ends first. all three in later. Shut that down. And that gives us our opening window. Like I'm going to put a little cross member across here to put the uh, door opener. That's usually if you want to put a latch of some sort or uh, I use auto openers a lot. Just to open it. Uh, and that's the window finished.